Here is a lovely poem by Gwen Harwood, reflecting on time spent looking after her children. It is followed by a short commentary on the content. An impromptu for Anne Jennings by Gwen Harwood. Sing memory, sing those seasons in the freezing suburb of Fern Tree. A rock shaded place with tree ferns, gullies, snowfalls and eye-pleasing prospects from paths along the mountain face. Nursing our babies by huge fires of wattle or pushing them in prams when it was fine. Exchanging views on diet or Aristotle. Discussing Dr Spock or Wittenstein. Cleaning up infants and the floors they muddied. Bandaging, making ends and tempers meet. Sometimes I'd mind your children while you studied, or you'd take mine when I felt near defeat. Keeping our balance somehow through the squalling disorder, or with anguish running wild when sickness, a sick joke from some appalling orifice of the night watch, touched a child. Think of it, woman. Each of us gave birth to four children, our new lords whose beautiful tyrannic kingdom might restore the earth to that fullness we thought lost beyond recall. When, in the midst of life, we could not name it, when spirit cried in darkness, I will have. But what? Have what? There was no word to frame it. Those spirit beat of flesh in a grave, from which it could not rise. But we have risen, Caesars we were, and wild, though we seem tame. Now we move where we will. Age is no prison to hinder those whose joy has found its name. We are our own. All Caesars' debts are rendered in full to Caesar. Time has given again, a hundredfold, those lives that we surrendered. The love, the fruitfulness, but not the pain. Before the last great fires, we too went climbing, like gods or blessed spirits in summer light, with the quiet pulse of mountain water chiming, as if twenty years were one long dreaming night. Above the leafy dazzle of the streams, to fractured rock where water had its birth, and stood in silence at the roots of dreams, content to know our children walk the earth. Much of the imagery and the sentiments of the poem are fine and wonderful. It is its politics, however, that are missing. What is it we wish for our children? For the critical work of care to be gendered and devalued? Another of Harwood's poems, In the Park, reflects more critically on this dynamic. You can hear this on poemhunter.com.